This video shows how the plastic parts for the digital microscope were designed. This bracket snaps securely onto a Raspberry Pi 4B without using any screws. It holds the Raspberry Pi vertically with its heatsink case. This allows it to stay cool without causing any vibration from a fan. The bottom section clamps securely onto the lens bracket, also with no screws. There are a few little gussets that get removed after printing, but they allow the print job to proceed without further support. The Raspberry Pi stands over an inch above the lens bracket. This leaves room for the micro SD card to be inserted, and there's even room for a little channel to route cables. This little bracket is just a spacer lock to prevent the main Raspberry Pi bracket from moving around. It could have been designed as part of the main bracket, but it wouldn't have printed without support. It would also allow for an easy reprint if I had the dimensions wrong. However, everything worked out on the first print, so it all worked well. This next print is the cover for the Raspberry Pi high quality camera. The two arms at the sides have to bend out to allow the card from the Raspberry Pi camera to slide into place. After sliding the camera circuit board in, the two arms snap back into place holding the circuit card securely. One edge has no side to allow the ribbon from the camera a place to exit the cover. I used the same design on my previous Raspberry Pi camera project, and it still works well. This is the retainer ring and spacer that holds the ring light in place. The tolerances on this ring are much smaller than one millimeter, which is quite difficult on a 3D printer. It looks simple, but it was actually the toughest one to get right. The last 3D printed part is just the cover for the ring light. It has a couple of slots for the wires going to the ring light, but its main function is just to attenuate the stray light coming off the ring light. I kept the tolerances loose just so I could cover it with something really opaque, in case the attenuated stray light was still too annoying. 